Hello Retro Games and Collectors and welcome to a pickups and update video. Just before I show you my pickups as well as my uh, new microphone and my new game catcher device. Got a couple of things to say. First thing I have a Facebook page and Twitter page so I'll put the links down below. And also um, I've got a couple of, there's going to be a couple of changes as well. First thing with the YouTube high school challenge videos, I'm planning on adding um, my um, my um, well, what you call it, my um, what I call bloopers, because I sometimes do a couple of recordings before I do the main, before I upload just the main one, and then the old ones tend to um, hold like some, then there'll be some swearing in that because I know I'm swearing them, and I try not to swear when I do a main one, try not to anyway. So um, I'm going to like, I'll edit them and I'll add it at the end. So if you've got no interest in watching them, you can just watch the main run. And then just, don't bother, just um, go to do whatever. Skip it or whatever. But also with my Facebook and Twitter, I'm going to add like a little snippet. A little snip. So if I do a couple of runs, especially I did with Paperboy, which I recorded recently for the YouTube challenge vid. I will just add like a snippet so you get like a little sample of what will be in the um, what I call outtakes or bloopers. <laughs> and also I'll be doing v video VR responses. I'm going to be doing the one what I should just watched from Soul Funk Retro. Which was what was your first game you bought. So I'll be um, doing a VR response next week on that. And I'll probably have a look at one or two others which will interest me. And also, I'm going to be um, doing some fighting games like uh, Killer Instinct, Blaze Blue, Guilty Gear, and Dead or Alive, and all that good stuff as well. And, um, what else? I hope I've. I think I've got everything there. Oh, yeah. And also, in my gameplay videos, I'm going to be making a slight alteration. I'm going to be. Um, said I just said. Well, as well as saying hello and all that. Goodness, goodness! I'm going to talk a little bit about the game when it was released, but not too long, so I don't want to bore you all to death. And the gameplay videos, which I've already done, I'm going to record, record over it, talk a little bit about it before it goes into the main game, because I have got some um, videos still on my backlog. I've still got, I think I've got three or four recorded the old way, then I've recorded some the new one. With my uh, old microphone as well. So I have got a new microphone. As you might be able to tell. As well as a new game capture device. So um, before I show you the game capture device. And. As well as my. Um, games. Oh yeah. I'll show you, Before I show you the game capture my microphone I should say. I will show you my games. So uh, And I know it's. One thing using this webcam. It's quite bright. In my room. Compared to using my iPhone 4. And I've also got future plans of replacing this webcam either with a like with something like a Logitech 1080p one, or I might get a camera recorder with a new microphone with it. So um, that's future plans. That will up to like near Christmas because I want to improve the quality, production quality. So um, I've already done it for the gameplays and and now this new microphone, but this mic this uh, webcam needs to get replaced. I want to replace it this year anyway. So um, let's get cracking on this. The first game. Oh, I'm going to show you this one first. Which I got from Car Boot and I paid a pound. And I played the first two games that I'm going to show you. I ain't played much of them. But the other three I can talk a little bit about them. First up is Haven. Call of the King. Is it Call of the King? Yeah, Call of the King. It's complete and it's in spankaroonie condition. And yeah, I did say a pound, didn't I, Car Boot? So um, I'm happy to have this, and it's actually a pretty good game, quite cartoony, so um, yeah, so I was happy, I'm sure I paid a quid, I can't, the next one up, now these next few I'm going to show original Xbox, and I'm still in a bit of an original Xbox kick, now this one it is, well I'll show you, it's Spider-Man 2, now I did have this on the Playstation 2, but I, 
but I got rid of it because I wanted the original Xbox and also want the standard black label, what I call standard black label, not classics or whatever. And this is also um, complete. It's in another spankeroony condition. So, and I'm also planning on doing a gameplay, so I will talk about game and stuff. <coughs> Now, my next few games I have played. Now, I'll play this one. Now, back in the day, I used to own this when the original Xbox was out. And it is Mega Assault. And this is also um, complete. Or oh, Spankaroon. I've stopped saying that. <laughs> now, just like... Um, now, in this game, you have three sorts, different type of mechs. You've also you've got your lightweight, your medium, and your heavyweight, and they've all got your pros and cons. And it's and you can upgrade your weapons and all that stuff, all good stuff. And before a mission starts, you can choose your mech, which one you want. The first mission, you have to, you've only can pick the lightweight, and then the second way, and I've unlocked the um the more the medium, what I call medium mech. And it's um, really good. And I and I do want to complete the first one because I did used to own it back in the day, so um, that's the uh, Mecha Assault, an original Xbox exclusive. Now having to get that, I needed to get the second one, which I never owned. I even played back in the day, and that's Mecha Assault Two: Lone Wolf. And this is also um, complete, so I'm really happy to have this. And now just like the. <coughs> The first Mecha Assault, there's a few additions which you can do, which you can't do in the first one. For a start, you can get out your out your Mecha Assault as well, as well as get in and get out. And you can also jump and build in, as well as jump on the enemy, tech, enemy uh, mechs and take over their mechs. A bit like, you know, Titanfall, what Titanfall is, today's standards, but unlike Titanfall, the first one I'm on about. I know the second one's going to have a story, I think. You can play this offline. So, um, yeah. And you can do little grades and all that stuff. It's really good. I've only played the first, like, two missions. I think it's either two or three missions I've played. But I'm keen on playing the um, playing the first one. I'm completing it before I jump on the second. And this was released... When was that released? 2004. And I know the first one released in 2002. Now there's one thing I should note. The second one you can pick up for two quid. It's cheap and it's common as hell. But the first one, there ain't that many copies about and it goes for like double the price. It goes for about four quid. But I managed to get it for about £3.40 odd I think. And that was from Music Pie. Was it Music Pie? My Music Pie or whatever it is. And they're both complete and in minted condition, so I'm happy to have them. Because it's because that one's that one ain't the first one ain't that common, but the second one you can pick up easy. Now my next one up, which I didn't own, but and it's a bit like Racket and Clank, and it's Metal Arms, and it is was it glitch in the system. Now just like Racket and Clank, you pick up these like. You know, nuts and bolts or whatever. And you can also um, upgrade. Make upgrades as well. And also, I know I did a mission where I, I ta went into like, it's like a computer thing. And I took over one of the enemy robots. And you, and I just used the robot, which had like a machine gun. And it just cleared out the room for me. So uh, I think I played the first two missions. And I will be doing a gameplay of this as well. So I'm really happy. And this was released back in 2003. So yeah, happy. Look at that, there's even a cheeky monkey. Now onto the bit of a hardware. Now the first nut, which I'm going to show you. And there's a little bit of story, but I'm going to show you my game capture. And now it's in box, but you've all seen what it looks like anyway. Well, the picture will give you it away anyway. I've got an Elgato HD60. And this records up to 1080p at 60 frames. There you go, Mac, Windows, and all that stuff. Now, there's a bit of story with this Agato. I did have the original 
for those of you who friends me on Facebook will know that I I did buy originally the um, the old oh, the screen's gone off the first Agato card the old one now I bought it from CX and I did have fifty pound in CX store credit and I asked the guy is it test and he went yeah 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 and I got it home and it didn't work and I did tested all the cables to make sure it was all hooked up correctly and I had the software installed, the Ghetto software, and it just wasn't registering whatsoever. So I ended up taking it back. They didn't bother testing it in CX and Leeds, but they ended up giving me a refund. She just said, sorry, the lady who ended up serving me. And I got a refund. And then two weeks later, I thought, I'll have a look. So when I saw they had an Ghetto HD60 in stock, one in stock. So I went down, and I was glad it was boxed. And I ended up getting this, and I'm glad to say it works perfectly. And the Agato card's in perfect nick as well. So, um, really happy to have that. And look at that. Bit of, written, bit of Nintendo Dave box pawn there. Look at that. Sexy. So, um, happy to have this. And I need, um, like an adapter so I can hook up my old game consoles. Can't, because... There is a way you can hook up the old ones. You just need like like a c composite to like HDMI adapter, and as long as it has its own power source, whether it's USB or power plug. So I'm going to be ordering one of them on Monday because I want one for my um, at least for my um, soft modded Xbox so I can record the YouTube high score challenge videos through my ghetto. And I also want one with. I always get composite. I also want yeah, I want a composite, composite and component adapter. So um, I'll be getting um, them. I know. Oh yeah, I'm getting ahead now. What I'm going to show you now some more box porn. As you might be able to tell by my voice, compared to the old microphone, which is here, which as you can tell, it's not connected. Oh yeah, and also I will be doing like my um, impressions on the Algato HD60. I'll do. I record it near end of week. And also the um, microphone, which I'm going to show you, and I'll and I'll compare it to the old ones. So you can hear like the quality difference in them. I'll do like what it sounds like with the old one and the old new one, because there is a big difference in audio cut between this microphone, which I'm going to show you, and the old one, which I've just shown you. But the microphone I got is the Snowball Ice 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 Baby. And it's the black one. I wanted it black. I had my heart set on the black snowball. I didn't want the white one. I did think about getting the green one. But I thought no. Get it in black. Now I got this from Amazon. Because it was cheap when it was going on eBay. But originally I was thinking of getting the, the original snowball ice. Not the snowball ice. The, snow, the original snowball microphone. Which has three more. It's a bit like the... Um, Snowball Yeti, but I decided since I'm not going to use the other two modes, I thought it's a bit pointless spending like an extra 15 pound if I'm never going to use them. Oop, pardon me. And also, I want to point in the reviews saying that the stand like plastic. Well, mine don't feel anything like plastic. It feels more like metal. Really, mine feels like a heavy duty stand. So um, yeah, I'm going to give my uh, expressions and my opinions. But I won't do an unboxing because there's loads of them if you want to see unboxing videos. So yeah, the Snowball Ice. I also had my um, eye on like Samsung microphones and stuff. But I, I set up for the um, for this Snowball Ice. And here it is. And also I'm going to get one of these like stands where you can hook up the microphone. And also the sound, you know, the circle thing. Which, you know, what you call them, sound thingies. But at the moment for the, um, I'm yet here it is and as you can tell it's got today you won't be able to see I've got a sock on it so I haven't got one of those sound I forgot what you, forgot what you call them what you put in front of the mic so um, I will be getting one of them on one of those stands but I will be keeping hold of this sock it's one of my old Christmas ones but don't worry it's clean <laughs> so um because I'm gonna need that when I do my um video recordings as well when I do my gameplay videos now I've still got some of the old ones recorded the old way I think I've only got about three or four at the most and then 
And also the old ones. Oh yeah, I've already told you. So um, that's all I've got to say. Don't forget, you're never too old to game. Keep on pumping those sexy muscles. Hell yeah.